and we are in the middle of Hurricane Melton. of the day sweater Shein two piece set bodysuit pants come from Shein shoes Timu crop dupes coach bag and I don't know if you can see but I did my brows and let me turn y'all this way okay that's better I did my brows and lashes so this is how it came out it's a little too bright Hold on. michael said what's up y'all but yeah that's pretty much how my brows and lashes came out so we finna go to craft the crowd oh my gosh, get some crap. fiddles and <laughs> i'll check in with y'all later <laughs> Yeah, I got y'all sitting on top of <laughs> my candle. Hopefully it don't fall. So, welcome to the vlog. Today is October 9th by 16 and we are in the middle of Hurricane Melton. For those of you who don't know, I live in the state of Florida. I am on the is it the east coast or the west coast basically i'm in the space coast okay where the storm is coming into florida at is through the, like i believe the gulf coast of florida i'm on the space coast so they say by the time it hits us it's supposed to be like a category one or whatever so everybody's home everybody's safe right now it's just five so the storm is not supposed to hit us until about like two o'clock in the morning on thursday so in a regular queen of fashion i thought it would be a good idea to start a vlog <laughs> with the hurricane so i guess count this as me documenting and whatever i don't know if y'all can hear the rain or whatever but it's like rainy it's windy usually the Sun is not down right now like basically it looks almost like like nighttime outside I wish I could show y'all how long well I was trying to show y'all rather sorry that the light is a little orangey I um I actually can change that now actually there we go kind of like the orange a little bit because it kind of gives a little color but um yeah so right now one of the reasons why i stopped editing was because i no longer have imovie on my computer and it kind of messed me up a little bit because i was kind of in my groove and then it no longer worked and i don't want to pay for another editing app is it working? Y'all, look. 
I feel like this is a sign for me to just go ahead on and start. Oh my God. Let me see. Y'all see this? And is this the last one? Yeah, this is what I was supposed to. Let me see. Did I post this? See the last video. Okay, was it this page? No, this is my fashion channel. I need to switch to my blog channel. Okay, yeah, I did post that video. I'm not up to nothing. Just getting ready to like announce for everyone who follow me on my vlog channel to basically follow me on my um, fashion channel. I'm just going to keep everything there. I had separated it for the simple fact I felt like the people who came to see fashion content came to see fashion content and I wasn't posting that anymore but I just I want to keep true to who I am so if beauty and the queen consists of vlogs fashion hauls try on hauls makeup tutorials and product reviews if that's who I am as a brand then that's what that channel is gonna get period okay y'all so I'm trying to figure out a dilemma I am trying to situate my room so when I go back to like content creating and I feel me overthinking it this is me right here so it's kind of like what you see when you first walk in like the window right now it's like all over the place but I was thinking about getting rid of that table putting this possibly over here putting that over there but then I don't know where I'm gonna put this little sucker here that's the only thing so that's what I'm dealing with right now I'm trying to figure out what shall a girl do cuz for right now that <laughs> This area over here is like my only filming area. So I'm kind of trying to, I don't know. I don't want to overthink it though. fragrances that I'm taking off of my shelf those on this side is mine these are Jameer's <sighs> yeah we got a problem and it was bigger than this this one right here it I do not like the smell of it I do not like it so not really much damage in my area in Florida again if you don't know sorry if you don't know I live in Melbourne Florida so you know it's not like really much damage or anything just like pre tree pretty much debris from like trees and everything but nothing like really serious or alarming but like the other surrounding cities like Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, the Sheriff Department is doing good. Those types of areas got affected really bad like Vero, Fort Pierce, uh, Port St. Lucie, uh, 
um, they got it really bad before the hurricane even hit. So my thoughts and prayers are to everybody in the affected areas and you know, I hope everybody is safe and okay. And then we got Hurricane Nadine that's literally right around the corner. And this place was in the middle of building. I still don't know what this is. But they're in the middle of building something. But I hope whatever they was building didn't get too far behind. I look real rough. But this is literally the morning. Thursday morning. October 10th. Um, after the hurricane has a because the hurricanes hit us at about like two o'clock in the morning, like between two and five this morning, and right now it's like eleven oh nine. And I just decided to get out, me and Micah get out and see what was happening with the weather and I'm um, not the weather, but to see how. The neighborhoods and stuff look after the storm so by the time it got to space coast the hurricane apparently just died down on its own but i don't see any major damages surrounding us at all so thank god for that oh, hold on y'all that's my job okay i'm back so that was just our manager checking to see if we were all okay and safe. So yeah, it seems like everybody around us is doing okay. Some like minor bumps and bruises, but not too much. I checked in on my family and stuff and everybody seems to be doing well. So I'm thankful for that. I know definitely prayers have been answered because this was a very, very nasty storm. Very. Um, and to the ones on the other end who got affected, Fort Myers, uh, Sarasota, I heard Clearwater also got it. Um, so many other places were affected by the storm, but we are okay. We had power during the whole entire storm so i'm just grateful it just felt like another rainy day where we are so i can't complain about that i love you all make sure you stay safe and just protect yourself i'm not sure if this is the end of the vlog or not because i'm not even sure where i am but if it is know that i love you guys and just really take care of yourself and make sure you know you and your family loved ones are safe and protected period so y'all ta hey y'all i hope y'all this is a terrible angle hold on okay i think it's a little better so i know y'all like uh did she just change her hat yes and i absolutely hate it as you can see like my lace is showing but i had to do something because my braids in the front was hurting my head well not my whole head it was hurting like the temples like off to the side i'm learning that as i get older my um edges are getting more and more sensitive so with it being sensitive, I can't keep those braids in as long as I used to be able to. So I had to take them out to allow my edges to breathe. So I just went and did like two um, like twists to the scalp on my hair and then put this wig on pretty much. Right now I'm on lunch break at work we were off wednesday thursday and then we had to come in today um for work which i'm kind of grateful because we was off wednesday thursday work friday and then off saturday sunday can't tell me god ain't good the only thing about it is i don't like when jobs do this thing where when it's stuff like this um 
because of natural disasters, they make you use your PTO time. I don't like that because it's not our fault. You get what I'm saying? So to make us to have to use our vacation, because I have a vacation coming up next month, which I'm ex excited to be vlogging so that I can vlog that vacation. But we have a vacation coming up early November. And it's eating out of the PTO that I had saved for that vacation. So I'm not happy about that, but it is what it is because this vacation is already paid for. Sorry if y'all hear the wind. I have my windows down because this breeze feel really nice. And I just wanna enjoy it. Cause somebody sprayed something with lavender in it at work and it was really starting to bother the back of my throat. So I was like, you know, when I get when I get it on my lunch break, I'm gonna have to ride with the windows down. Right now, while I'm on my lunch break, I'm going right up here to Family Dollar to get me a black hair uh, dyeing kit. And I was gonna look for some crinkle cut scissors if they have any. To be able to cut up this lace a little bit so yeah that's all i got going on nothing too much child. so i want to give y'all a quick um family dollar haul <laughs> so i don't know if y'all know about this or not but if you don't know now you know these are like one of my favorite bags of chips, the cheese doodles, but you gotta get the hot and honey girl. Dollar Tree, all of the Dollar Trees used to sell it, but for some reason they kind of stopped. So you gotta kind of like, when you see them, snack them. So if your Dollar Tree got one, snag them girl, because it's a rare find now all of a sudden, but I got two bags of those, and then the hair dye I ended up going with is the dark and lovely jet black. Got that. Um, I love for spending like a lot of ants in my car for some reason. I think because where I stay, we have like a lot of trees in the parking lot, and I think those trees have ants, so they get stuck in the apartment but anyway um amira i've been loving that she's been trying to go for the more natural approach when it comes to like her skincare and body wash and her toothpaste so she um wanted me to pick up her some of vino cleanser face cleanser so we got this one for her and then I just picked up some bobby pins because I don't know about y'all, but besides some socks, another thing that you gonna lose is ponytail holders and hair pins, child. Like in my house, I don't know where they, when I see them, I pick them up and put them in one place. But for some reason, it, it, it never lasts long. It really don't. So what I just do is just ever so often, I just go ahead and pick me up some hair pins. But today, well, not today, but I need to get another car tripod because Micah, my son, if you're new, Micah went and thought it was a good idea to play. But Micah thought it was a good idea to play with my car mount for my phone, play with it, broke it. So now I have to buy another one, which I forgot to do. I forgot to do because Amazon had their prime day deals and I brought like some techie like stuff, but I forgot to include the car mount, which is okay. Cause I could just still purchase it regardless, but yeah, girl, I laid this lace terribly. So if you see it, you just see it. It is what it is. 
I just wanted something to look decent when I go to work. So this weekend, the game plan is to go ahead and dye this wig and then figure out this lace because I got this from Arabella Hair and I absolutely hate when I tell you, honey, I absolutely, can I put y'all here? Not the best angle, but it'll work for right now. But it has the most dumbest lace to this thing that I really just dislike. So, 